Welcome back to Friday Night Smackdown in three days. Triple H faces the WWE Champion Randy Orton at Over the Limit. But up next in our main event. So in first, it'll be the Rated R Superstar against R-Truth. And King, what do you think of the decision to make Edge and Triple H team up? Well, I don't trust Edge, so you know Triple H doesn't. But that being said, if Triple H wants to build momentum going into Over the Limit, he's got to coexist with Edge tonight. Uh-oh, this is bad. Edge thinking one or two moves ahead with each hold. Edge. Hey! Edge unloading there. Not fast enough. And he hits the drop kick. What impact. Did you hear the impact on that kick? Edge's calculating mind at work. You can almost see the gears turning. Uh-oh. Oh, man, you take a shot like that, and you feel it for weeks. An aggressive shot to the midsection. And he targets the arm. Watch out here! Ah! And he gets the tag. <clears throat> and the turnbuckle does the damage. <clears throat> oh, look out! The game's got him! King, in my mind, the big story in just 48 hours is, can Triple H become a record 17-time world champion? Well, in my mind, this is his best opportunity to do it. He'll be facing Orton in a one-on-one -on -one match, and if he can win tonight, he'll be going in with momentum on his side. Desperately, desperately needs to make a tag here. We got a tag. Oh, and he's going to have to do something big here. His partner is in bad shape. Oh, no. Look at the force behind that leg drop. Ah. And he hits the neck break. executed that move to perfection. Incredible counter! makes the cover. One, two, and Triple H refuses to stay down. What a clothesline! He's in big trouble here, pinned in the corner and eating haymakers. Slow. Oh, big move off the check. Watch it. Watch it. And he powers out. The game. Oh, look at this. Triple H playing the game to perfection. 
the game going high risk. Watch it. I'm not sure. But with a miss like that, I'm wondering if he has something in his eye. Countered by the game. Big move coming. A vicious shot with the knee. Triple H heading to the top one more time. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is bad. The game. Yeah. Doing whatever it takes to win. Oh, and he eats the canvas. Hey! Off the apron and down to the floor. Holes locked in, and he's in big trouble. Uh oh. Every move that Orton makes is cold and calculated. And there's the count. Oh no! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We finally have a camera in position. Moments ago, Today. Triple H and Edge were attacked during their match against Orton and R-Truth. And then Triple H chased one of his attackers back here. The game's making Cody pay. Over. And now, WWE presents Over the Limit. to defend this WWE Championship against Triple H, who attempts to become a record 17-time world champion. Oh my gosh, look at this, Michael. The hairs on my arm are standing straight up. I have no idea who's gonna win this. Whoa! And he fights his way out. Morton escapes. Watch it. Oh man, you take a shot like that and you feel it for weeks. Oh, look out! You can see the gears turning in the mind of Triple H. What to do next? How to wear this man down? This crowd is solidly behind the fact that they don't know who to root for. Yeah, at this point, I'd have to say they're pretty much evenly divided. Half for the game, and half for the Viper. The game is such a student of his craft. There are few superstars that are as technically proficient as Triple H. Did the world backbreaker. The game. Ah! <laughs> Nothing flashy about that by the game, but it most certainly was effective. 
What a landing. The game sticks to Spinebuster. The game and the Viper. Both of these men trying to prove something to the other, trying to prove something to themselves. Well, they're here we go. Welcome back to Friday Night SmackDown. Earlier tonight, we learned that The Miz will choose one of the three. So here we go with this triple threat match to determine one of the three men that will face the WWE Champion Randy Orton at Fatal 4 -way. And Mike, do you notice who the participants are? I mean, Cody Rhodes is undoubtedly a Miz fit, and our truth has been closely linked to Randy Orton. Really, if any of those men win, it'll give Orton or Miz's hand-picked opponent a huge advantage. Rhodes looking to deliver some big-time impact. is without question the fastest but cody's plenty quick and plenty crafty in his own right the game of course has tremendous experience at the end of the day any one of these men can get the win and there's a great move by the second generation superstar you can see the gears turning in the mind of triple h what to do next how to wear this man down Think back to that match last Sunday, King Triple H was so close to winning the championship. Well, the game and Orton were going back and forth all night. In the end, it looked like Triple H was closing in on victory, but then The Miz showed up. With company, too. We saw Dolph Ziggler try to handcuff Triple H to the ropes again. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but thank goodness Edge was there, or things could have really gotten bad. Whoa! He's measuring. The game sticks to Spinebuster. And the pain has to be shooting through his face. That Irish whip was delivered with tremendous aggression. One, two, three. Triple H wins. The game wins. Friday Night Smackdown from beautiful Vancouver, British. Well, ladies and gentlemen, still to come tonight, the radio.
today. I don't think so. Turn. <laughs> <laughs> 